four girls in. About to get to it. So that's been now for 15 minutes. Just your own test. Four deep. It's a grind, man. It's a grind. I'm just doing what I like to do, yo. Test some blood today. So, this is going to spin for 15 minutes. I'm going to let this warm up. When I draw the serum with my pipe back, I'm going to put it in the window of this. Goes in the machine for 15 minutes, and then I can read every test rapid. I don't have to wait 15 minutes for every test. So, once I warm that up, so pretty much like, you know, 30 minutes, a whole cycle, and I can test all four of these dogs at one time. Ryan, bro. Let's see. I'm breeding that girl right there. She's being bred. She's not ready yet. We're still testing. We're also breeding that girl right there. All right? I don't got my pictures lined up. But yeah, man, it's Frenchie season, man. It's Frenchie season. I make it happen. Gio, good morning, bro. What's up, man? How you feeling, man? Hey. So. I had a uh, surprise heat. Yeah, it's a, like a surprise heat. Girl coming heat on me on the low. So I had, I've been testing three girls all week. So now I got the fourth one to test. You know, once once one dog come in heat, they all just start like kind of rolling, man. It's like, it's like women, like mother and daughter living in one house. Usually mom and dad, have, I mean, excuse mom and dad. Usually mom and daughter have the same menstrual cycle after after a certain amount of time because their bodies just line up like that. So if if one female's in heat and the other girls are kind of close, it's going to pull them right in, man. So I had one girl come in heat last week, and it's just been a chain reaction. All my other girls are too young to come in, so I'm not even worried about them coming in at this point. But, um... We gonna wait. Um, I'm gonna I'm cut this and I'll come back when I start drawing it with the results and everything like that. All right. Good. Okay. So, 15 minutes is about up. All right. So I'm gonna show y'all what we test tonight. Let me find a good one. Okay, so after I spin this blood down, we're testing the serum, right? So when we spin blood, the serum is at the top, it's the clear, and the clot is at the bottom. So all you want is this top part right here. That's all you want to test. You know. So I was doing I was doing 80 ULs. Um well, that's backwards, but that's 80. You do 80 ULs of that. Of the clear right here. Into the test windows. Test window goes in well test kit goes into here. And we test. So let's see what she at. That's my girl Piggy. She's at a four point four point three. Look. I can print that out. Four 
4.4.3. He's not ready yet, but great. She's not ready yet. So. Dog number two. Okay, so look. That's. I just tested that girl right there. It's my girl, Piggy. I just tested her. Piggy is at a 4.43. So, I'm looking for eight as my ovulation. So, I'll skip tomorrow, which is Thursday, and I'll breed her, I'll breed her. I'll test her again Friday and see where we at Friday, okay? Now, we're gonna be testing Luna. I'm sorry, let me find her. Here she go. So this is Luna. And let's see where Luna's at. Okay, so Luna's at a 3.483. So, print that out. She's not ready yet. She's climbing, but she's not ready. Okay, so now we're testing where you at, girl. I'm testing the brown, the fawn colored girl to my left. I don't know what it looks like on this side. So let's see. I got treasure. Put her in here. In the menu, quick test. Okay, so treasure's at a 13.923, which I already knew that because I tested her on Monday. She was at a 10, which told me she was ovulating. So I tested today just to make sure that her numbers didn't go back down. She's at a 13.924. I'm going to print that out. That's treasure. her today now my fourth dog my fourth dog um yeah I'm not gonna I'm gonna test her right now just to see where she's at but I'm not breeding her because to have four litters on the ground one time bro I'm not doing it quick test Let's see where she at. All right, so listen, she's acting. 0 0.424. So she's in heat. She's not ready to breed. But I'm not going to breed her anyway. I just wanted to make sure that it was a heat cycle and nothing else going on with her. But, um... That's it. I don't know how long I've been on here, but you see, I let the machine warm up for 15 minutes and I knocked out four females that fast, man. So this this is a lifesaver. You know, some play, um, the cheapest place that I know that we can go to and get this done is $60. It's an hour drive for me, hour and 25 minute drive for me. So for me to invest in this, I can touch four girls. And I have, like I told you, I have, Came with a hundred. Came with a hundred. They're good for eighteen months. So I gotta use them. I don't think I'm gonna use them all. I don't think I might end up like throwing some away. That's a lot of breeding for a hundred. But how I how I'm doing it is anyone that uses one of my studs. If you use if you use my stud, 
your progesterone is free. It comes with it comes with the um the stud fee. So you know, we can just do it like that. I could try to get. It. You know, I'm not really interested in doing it as a service right now. But um, if I know you, you know, if you, if you mess with me like that, you local and you want it done, I'll let me. I'll give you a good price. And um, get it done, man. I'm excited. Right now we're bullies. Today is Wednesday, the 12th. So I'm gonna be breeding. I'm gonna be breeding treasure today. I'm actually gonna hit dude now. Actually, I ain't gonna hit him. I don't have to hit him. I have an appointment at 12 already to meet him. I already figured that we were gonna do this. We knew this Monday. We were just making sure today, as far as testing to see where we was at with it. So, um, <sighs> thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Peace. Right.